Hello everyone, Dickfick here, and welcome back to another The Outer Worlds Let's Play video. We uh, left off uh, clearing out that area where the bandits were, but before we open up that cage with her in it, we're going to finish clearing this building. I pulled up the map, and then it looks like a whole giant section we didn't clear or do anything of over here. Oh, apparently that's her door. Didn't quite mean to do that yet. So we're definitely not going to open her door up yet. That's what I just got done saying. And then I went to almost open her damn door. Um, These things are dead in here. Interesting. Odd that they would come in here and clear through these. Uh, I guess the doors are open and you were there. You kind of got to do what you got to do. It's just sparking nonsense over in the corner. Doesn't seem like there's anything else over here. This looks kind of dead endish. No, it's a really weird back room area here that has an elevator in it. Let's see where elevator goes. Why not? Um, interesting. What is up here? I did change the quest to. That's a fucking landmine. Corrosive landmine. It looks like awesome. Just Add to my shitty day here. Um, I changed the quest to the science weapon one to see if there was something in this lab for one, and it kind of looks like there is. We saw everything. Saw everything about what? What did I do? I put your shit to sleep. I didn't fucking bother no one in the process. Now you're gonna be all fucking huffity puffity with me. Puffity puffity with you, my friend. Um, we're getting closer and closer. Is this just trying to send me outside for the science quest? Is that that's that is actually exactly what this looks like. So touche. There is no science thing in this place. We will go back to the journal. Um press signal, return to Arison, speak to their guys, take care of head back to Mount. Burning and smoke, retrieve the little cigarettes. Where are these cigarettes? That would be something I would like to do before we leave here. It says they're outside. Why are they outside? They're in the other lab? Okay. Interesting. Um, You're all pissy with me. That's fine. I don't really care that you're pissy with me. I've got some looting to do. Yeah, it's fine. What are you gonna do about it? Touche, you're gonna turn your back to me. Show me your ass. Make it so I can't hit your weak spot. Fresh mag, poke out. Take the kill. There we go. Put him down, down, down. Way down. What is this? It's a bathroom with a whole bunch of dead folk in it? This place is overly huge, if I do say so myself, or so it seems. I'm just gonna keep reloading this gun over and over and over again because I keep going to sprint every time I reload. What is in here? Um, loot all of you. Oh, I can hack that open. Hack that open too. Can we just open all the cells? Unlock, open, containment cells, exit. That would be all of them done at once. Not as cheap because I could have just done it for free, but you know, I got experience for using those things, so you might as well take the free XP. Sorry, right, scientist, I don't know how you exactly died while well, locked in a tiny little cell, but it looks like you did nonetheless. Which kind of sucks for you. Did I already loot him? No, I didn't. Haha. That's why you always double check yourself. What's in this little back room? Ooh, got a workstation. All the lockers. Probably just gonna be like weapon parts and other random tidbits back here. Not anything of note. I've got to be getting near my weight limit. Yeah, we're slowly creeping up there. So I'm looting a lot of stuff in this place. Like a ton of shit. Uh, maintenance logs, theft of terminals, financial on 30 bits, odd near set employee. Okay, so there's just a random theft maintenance log in here. Random. 
By the way, not going to argue about all the free loot. Was that a dead end? Very much so, a dead end. Um, I could explore this for days up here, right? Or I could just go talk to him. I don't know what the right call is here. You must think me a fool. I was watching on the security cameras. You got downright friendly with the outlaw leader. Um, yeah. I reckon we got nothing to say to each other. You best back yourself out of here. Nice and slow. Oh, he's off the trigger. Hear me out. No one needs to die here. I seeing a compelling reason to not blow your head off. You aggressive. Um... Oh, uh, never mind. The outlaws just want to leave. Tell your friends there's just two ways out of here. A cell or a box. I'm going to give you to the count of nothing to clear. I'm convinced to let you leave in peace. The lab's a wreck. You convinced dead. her to let us leave in peace. Listing the ills we've been done ain't exactly putting me in a mind to compromise. Yeah, I can see you. Look around. Hasn't there been enough death? Um, I gotta believe that all we done will mean something to the company, to Doc Crane. That effort will make up for mistakes. Will it though? I think the company cares about you, or do they care about the lab or the research? Hanson cares about the company, thinks of him more than they care. Let's go with number two. I've worked for Anti Cleo 18 years, done my best for them. Always expected they'd do right by us in turn. Yeah, have they though? I don't see any better solution. Fine, damn it. We'll pull out. Here, my key card. It'll get you access to the whole place. Full stakes, people. We're heading back to town. Interesting that they really are just gonna kind of up and pull out of here, no questions asked. Old guard patrol. Ah, this fucking place is huge. We did all that. That's the cells. This is the bathroom. So push all the way out here. We did not do this room. This is right side to 180 and go talk to that guy. Um, he scared the crap out of me. Not quite sure how she magically down there. But you know... Sometimes you just hire magicians and then you wonder how they do things and you're just like, what the fuck? But that's why I hire magicians in the first place, because they can do crazy shit like that. So that actually puts us back down here, so this place isn't as big as I thought it was. Okay. So, I don't want to backtrack that way. We want to go down here. Up here. Um, around here. Up over this railing if I can. Take a little bit of fall damage. Finally. Open her door. I've never been so pleased at the sight of an open door. Well, I'm sure. Please tell me you've cleared a way out of here. Um, I have cleared both paths out of here. Don't make me regret it. So you have. I am much obliged. <sighs> I feel like this is the wrong and decision now, to make. If you do not mind, I have had quite enough of this wretched place. I just need you to turn off that research. Oh, really? And why, pray tell, would I do a thing like that? Because I let you out of this bitch. Um, because you don't want the price on your head and you get it right away. Three. Your point is well taken. I would rather not spend the rest of my days looking over my shoulder for the shadow of my headhunter. Here, take the damned research. Tell Crane I hope he chokes on it. Okay, so I let her go and I got the research. That's... Um... You did the right thing. Goodbye. Oh man, she fucking owned one of these things in here herself. You badass! Oh, she looks like she had some help. Either way, still just gonna give her the credit of being a badass. Badass nonetheless. So that is 
this entire lab cleared out. I'm pretty damn sure I did every single inch this damn lab. Um, I haven't found our cigarette case though, but I believe that is in a different room slash location. That's not a way out. A way out would be, you know, I say every inch of this lab, and then there's a pistol laying right there. Clearly means I am not good at this, but we need it upstairs. I can find my way out. I can do this, guys. Um, actually, this would probably be the fastest way out from where I am. It's that, summon the elevator. Do, 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 do. I did loot him, okay. Maybe the elevator wasn't the fastest way. Damn, that was a slow ass elevator. I'm gonna get a future and stuff, but I mean, these are all like means to poop out houses and stuff, so I guess they can't have the fastest of elevators, right? Unbarred that. Then this poops us. Stop! You picked the wrong damn day. The hell is going on out front here? Nothing? Nothing's going on out front here? Okay, because there was a whole bunch of fucking gunfire. It sounds like some shit was thrown down out here. Better not have killed my quest giver. She's there. She's fine. Okay. Um, so... Wants me to... What's my inventory situation? 225. Ugh. Really, really bad. Really, really, really bad. Got outlaws, outlaw squad leaders. Are we friends with these guys still, or are they hostile to us now? Looking like we are now friendly with outlaws. Good to know. On this planet, I don't just have to shoot them all on sight anymore. Even though I'm 100% not going to lie, I kind of wish I wasn't. I would absolutely love to merc all of these guys, but... It's fine. We'll let them set up camp here and the corporation can deal with them in their own time. F5 to save it. That is a colossal fucking thing right there. Um, ammo, light pistol. Loot, 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 loot all day long. So much loot in this little storeroom here. Lead armor. Nice. There's even a console here. Damn, this room is freaking balling. We have officially just reached that overweight capacity limit here. But luckily, there's a vending machine right here. Which we should be able to sell some stuff to. We do have shock lances four days back at base. We do have Mark II pistols. I'm pretty sure we have one of those, but I'll keep them. We have tactical shotgun have those. I don't think we have a Mark II. We do have an Ultra Baton. Ooh, I didn't notice we picked up a named one of those at some point. Light Assault Rifle Mark II. We have... <sighs> we have a Flamethrower. I'm pretty damn sure. I know we have one of those. I know we have those. I know we have a Heavy Machine Gun. I know we have a Plasma Launcher. We don't need two... Assault rifles. A whole bunch of these. Have an officer's blade. Have heavy machine gun. Have Mark II pistols. Don't need two of those in my personal inventory here. Have that. Have that. Pretty sure we have an infernal sickle, but I'll hold on to it. Don't need two of those. Now for this armor situation here, we're looking at two, three, all these are the same, right? Yeah, so one, two, three, hold on to one of them, leaded armor, two-handed, two-handed, sell one of those, sell one of those, see all that. That should put me down enough and wait to not really need to worry about it for a little bit here. Yeah, okay, so we're good again to push out. 
So in short, that terminal was basically talking about how these freaking things refuse to breed here and they're trying to get them to breed and they're playing music for them and stuff, but they're just refusing to breed up. Yeah, that colossal thing is a monster. Um, then there was also another terminal access in there that was all like, are you one of those people that's wasting their time not on patrol? Get back out on patrol. Um, what's left here? Spitter? I'm surprised we killed them that easily. These guys could have rushed us and been way more aggressive with all those freaking, um, these huge Colossus ones. Took so much firepower to take down. Kind of ridiculous. I did enjoy it though. I wish they were slightly more aggressive on us. Forced us to fall back and pull back and do some of that kind of stuff. Maybe I'm an OP weapons. I don't feel particularly like I am. Uh, maybe. I have modified them and all the other fancy stuff. Got a terminal up here. Read automated security warning. This is an automated message generated to inform you of a security breach somewhere in the vicinity of the Rosewood Laboratory and Outpost. And Cleo wishes to inform you that the events of a security breach, you are expected to destroy evidence of the ongoing experiments and questioning legitimacy. <laughs> Please revive any available weapon and commence elimination of your cache and ported reputations. Please remember to disable electric fences before attempting to enter reptilian. Why would you? Whatever. And clear fronds upon the use of any weaponry made or designed by Spacer's Choice. If your body is found carrying another weapon designed by Spacer's Choice Incorporated, you may be fined for violating and not. Wow, that's fucking screwed up. Um. Disarm the electric fence. Okay, so They're basically saying destroy all evidence then grab a gun and go kill yourself is what it seems like they're peddling Which is really fucked up. Why would your cigarette case be all the way back here? I'm sure it is I'm not keeping her damn cigarette case, dude. Like, why do you want a cigarette case so bad anyways? These people are not stealing anything, people. Come on now. I'm like a master thief here, and I don't even want to steal the lady's freaking cigarette case. I'm sure the reward would be way better than keeping the damn thing anyways, you know? Is there anything up here fancy like? This would be a better place to engage those guys. Ooh, there is a little station up here. What do we got up here? It's got to at least be a loot box, right? Yep. I always wanted to sneak into a secret lab by crawling through the vents like they do in the serials. Do it. I'm curious where these vents go. I didn't see them, but apparently this is the stealth option. I haven't smelled anything that uh, foul in years. What do you think let's loot up here. Where does this actually put us? I didn't unmute it. I didn't unmute it, guys, after I sneezed. But I was happy that I did hit the uh, mute button for the sneeze. So then I was like, that's embarrassing that we didn't clear that whole base after I bragged about clearing the whole base, I think. And I missed like a blatant door that was right next to where we originally came in. That's all Seriously, you missed in that slight muting. It's a nice cigarette case, but it's still just a cigarette case. We got you. It's fine. Um, I've got the goods here. Cigarette case, you can just lie. Um, there we go. You're shitty. Oh, I got you. Cigarette case, I'll do anything. Uh, get this one. You couldn't. I bet you couldn't take it from me. Lulz, I'm not going to be mean to her. Um, I'm not saying it wasn't a hassle to get, but there it is, safe and sound. So bad. No, we try to be the good guy. The I was wondering about your group. I need to give some kind of disclaimer. Like, everything I say is my own opinion. Corporate types love that shit. <laughs> Lulz. I'm heading out. Thank you for the XP, the money, the cartridges, all of that, all of it combined. So we did 
pens. We did everything down there. There's still this little area out there we haven't explored. I might save that for later. But anyways, guys, we are officially out of time for this episode, and I really do appreciate you all stopping by and checking it out. Um, sorry about muting myself for a tiny bit there. I see some marauders off in the distance here. But anyways, guys, um, if you enjoyed this episode, check out some of those other videos around here. And if you like some of those, think about liking, subscribing, commenting, and hit the notification button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Dig big. Yeah. Mm, she's got a bad habit of smoking. Do I really care that she smokes? No, it's her life. She can do whatever she wants. But I could help support her quitting by not giving her back this. No, I'll just be the good guy. If she wants to destroy her life with smoking. She can. I don't care. It happens.